Hey guys, it's me, Phoenix. I am almost back. I'm back, but um, after losing my voice and, you know, everybody going through what they went through, this has been a weird month. Uh, this car tried to come over, but yeah, this has been a weird month. So this is the Four of Swords and we have the uh, Seven of Pentacles, you know. So, you know, the Four of Swords energy is like kind of when you reach a... Um, I'm not going to say a plateau because that's not where you are, but it's like you have to sit back and relax. And that's just kind of where I'm at. You've been planting seeds. You've been contemplating doing new things. And when it comes to, yeah, finances and just you actually being able to, <clears throat> excuse me, turn around and, and make things happen the way you want, you know, and make these good decisions uh, when it comes to recognizing your strengths and also realizing um, how to trust in your own uh, trust your own self, you know, not just put your trust in other people or um, how do you say make the tough decisions to move forward in life and the unsure energy comes out when it when you um, have insecurities or a seven, um, pen, excuse me, seven of swords energy when you just kind of feel like there's a lot of insecurities going on within you and why you decided to change and plant and do things in a different light and so that's kind of how I see that the seven of Pentacles and we have the again seven of swords is just letting you know that sevens um, <clears throat> means <clears throat> excuse me confidence having a confidence and right now when it comes to the seven of Pen the seven of Pentacles and the seven of swords being here there's a lack of confidence and you pulled your energy back when it comes to you being successful or having your rewards or just understanding the emotions that you're going through when it comes to you doing things that you need to do. The King of Pentacles says there's no reward without taking risk. Create opportunities. Invest your time wisely. Wait a minute. It says, I'm looking. Uh, there's no reward without risk. Create opportunities. Don't be afraid to fail and invest your time wisely. That's what it says. You know, that's the part that makes you overthink <clears throat> when it comes to, yeah, failure and endings. Uh, that bring new beginnings and that's the tower that comes out and so with the tower the tower doesn't mean that it's an ending it means that the unknown energy of when and how things will go will make you have to stand up for the things that you feel is right and also look at the struggles and that's where the realization comes in at with the judgment energy you know the judgment energy just lets you know that you know you have to face yourself and your fears and also be able to sit still when things when times get hard or when you uh don't recognize your own strengths or understand that uh you have to believe in yourself and so that's kind of where i see this energy is, is at excuse me i know that was loud uh but yeah just sitting here and understanding that there are things that you have to do for yourself oh that's so loud sorry about that there's things that you have to do for yourself in regards to your growth and the struggles and just planting the seeds. This is from what's the T, uh, yeah, faking, fake flexing. So a lot of people do this when they're trying to, um, what is it called? When they're trying to um, be something that they're not, but that's not who you are. Uh, these cards came over. Yeah, that's not who you are. Yeah, unsure, hooked, and then it shows uh, a bad reputation. That's not who you are. These fake flexing people have a bad reputation of doing this um, uh, because they're hooked to the, you know, what it feels like to feel successful, but they don't want to do the work. If that makes sense, let me turn this over. They don't want to do the work, if that makes sense. And so that's not who you are. So the struggle uh, that you go through is you pulling your energy back and, yeah, an offer, pulling your energy back and waiting on the offers to come to you or come towards you, not to try to make things, yeah, not trying to make things uh, look what they aren't inside scoop and then it's like looking you up so inside scoop says a closer look nosy up in your business so people when you get to this point you pull your energy back and then people come towards you they start to look and try to figure out what it is that you're going through and how is cancer so successful or how how can um, there be endings and there can be you know you pulling your energy back but sometimes you just have to trust the process and so um, that's the reason why you're not fake flexing in order to uh, act rich or 
floss like you have it. You're just, you know, uh, looking at it from a different perspective. And a lot of people that do that, they have a bad reputation of, you know, keeping up with the Joneses, and that's not who you are. So the emotions behind this, this is the True Emotions deck, the emotions behind this could be in regards to legal matters. Uh, it says uh, child support, traffic, criminal paternity, memories. It could be memories of the past or relationships or situationships that you went through. Ouch. Unsure, under pressure, anxiety decisions, time's running out. So that's the unsure energy that came out. Cycle, crazy ex, obsessed, won't let go. So that's kind of how I see this person. You choose to. Uh, look at the struggle in a different light this person is is trying to or try to do things and make you look as if you want a fake flex or you know at some point you had to decide to end things and that's just where the pressure lies from them I don't think it's just your pressure I think it's theirs because they're hooked to you but their reputation and the way that they do things is causing them to be under pressure because of them trying to keep up with the Joneses and wanting you to do the same thing. So there is matters here and legal matters can be consequences of their actions and the memories that they're struggling with. And because it's driving them crazy that you ended things and recognize that you had to pull your energy back. If that makes sense. I'm going to pull um, from the Ruck X. Sorry. I'm going to pull from the Ruck X to see exactly what, uh, what type of energy you've been around uh this cycle type energy i'm gonna pull to see what it is yeah so we have mocking yeah this person mocked you uh because you weren't trying to so the snake is here you see that right um this person mocked you and they were envious of you and they were very treacherous in the way that they did things and uh trickery yeah so that's where the inside scoop is the trickery part of it is it says abuse their power and manipulation manipulate others uh, double dealing scammer and deceitful and that's where the fake flexing is and that's why the memories that they have of you are because you had to you you kind of changed the way they seen things but now they're trying to get you back into their energy and you're like no mocking shadow they mocked you make fun of others uh, sarcasm ridicule taunt ins insulting teasing and it says desire to uh, desire the good fortune of another Jealous, competitive, and bitter. So while they mocked you and they were envious of you, they steady wanted you to contribute to their cause. And that's the reason why now they're under pressure because you're not contributing to anything. You blocked this person's energy and you're moving forward. And that's just how you had to do things. Let me go ahead and pull from the, the Monopoly Tarot. The card that comes out from the bottom is envious and the will of fortune. Completion and in uh, indecisive way. Uh, is what the two of swords is and so again back to the two of swords yeah and the will of fortune this person is very envious of you but you had to make the decisions for yourself and now they're trying to figure out where you are yeah queen of swords energy comes out with the queen of swords here nine of wands is really defensive play but the nine of wands is also um, the burdens that were there you know you having to understand that you have to protect yourself and know that <clears throat> when it comes to, you know, you feeling some type of way, um, there is, you know, some type of, you had to take a stand and set boundaries, you know. And so with the Queen of Swords showing his face, yeah, like I said, nine, okay, so the Nine of Swords and we have the Queen of Swords. But the justice, remember I said the legal matters, consequences of their actions uh, when it comes to supporter of truth and protection. Now you're protecting your truths and understanding where your struggles lie on where, what happened and how they made you feel. They made you feel like it wasn't time for you to work on yourself and the insecure things because they'd rather you fake flex and be stressed out, nine of swords energy, than to set boundaries. And that's the reason why the mocking, the envious energies, the treacherous energy, the way it made you feel trickery, like you were doing wrong when you were just trying to build a foundation. So you pulled your energy back. And so that's just kind of how I see that energy. Um, which to you is a bad reputation and it caused anxiety and it caused you to make a decision. And this is somebody that who you were hooked to, but now they feel so the tables are turned. You're not fake flexing. You just felt this way. 
So you felt like it wasn't time for you to work on yourself. You felt insecure. You felt anxious. You felt like if you followed this fake flexion, it fake fake flexing, it would be give you a bad reputation, or it would be basically you mimicking their things. And so the consequences of the action, legal supports, and you telling the truth, and like, no, stand up for yourself, or are you ready to face me? You see, she's like, come here, you know, uh, and that's just where you are but are you ready to face this person i'm not sure i'm gonna pull from the protect your energy deck to see what it is that you need to protect your energy from you guys it's been a rough month for me not in a bad way but in a way of pulling my energy back uh and also getting things together here secretly recording and demoted no longer fit for the position yeah so that's what it is they're looking you up because Oh, can you see that? Hold on. Um, this is by um, Virtual Reality on Etsy. You get it; they get a D. So the boundaries, the weirdly defensive, is because again, uh, they no longer fit the position. And the other cards that came out is talks over other people, and that's this type of energy here. The ones that's mocking you, that's envious and treacherous, that made you feel some type of way and secretly recording you trying to catch you out out there so again they they feel like they have the inside scoop and that they've been watching you because again you're not um you're not falling into what it was that they done because they're obsessed with you you know because of what they've done and so therefore they don't want to let you go and so they're watching and trying to figure out what it is and the offer that's coming up, looking you up and secretly recording you, researching you, studying you, getting info on you, secretly recording you, trying to catch you out there, talks over people in a conversation, a conversational narcissist. So they're telling people that it was all you when it really is them of why you decided to walk away. So I decided that the new way I'm going to pull, um, I think I did this the last time I did a reading, is just to grab a card out of here for the crystal deck. If you're interested and want to know what the crystal deck is, I will. Um, it's dealing with the chakras. I'll put it up here. And then the game of life, excuse me, the game of life and how to play it. Uh, the four agreements. Be impeccable with your words. Manifest your own true intentions. And the Dalmatian Jasper, this is protection, reflection, and service. It says, I go with the flow of the universe knowing that I am protected. And so that is where you have to learn and protect yourself and not be anxious you have to just go with the flow and know that the consequences of your actions and others actions are basically why um you know people have to be accountable for their own bullshit. you know what i mean and it says regardless of what language you speak your intent will manifest through your through the word what you dream what you feel and what you re really um are will be uh, will all be manifested through the word so that's why i tell you it says supporter of truth and protection you know sometimes you just have to pull your energy back and sit back and not say anything and just kind of work on yourself and realize what it takes to become the king of pentacles energy we're normally the queen of pentacles which the queen of pentacles says i'm reading right here i have the stands here where it says a loving i don't where's it oh a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life protect and care for them no matter what that no matter what JDS Terrell says can be toxic. The Queen of Pentacles can be toxic to herself because when it comes to family, the Queen of Pentacles will do anything except fake flex. The Queen of Pentacles will give her last and struggle instead of working on herself to, in order to help somebody who they in actuality turns back around to have to cut off because um, it keeps them stressed out and it keeps them um, not living in their truth. And so... That's where the consequences of your actions and their actions, meaning what they do and how they act and how they make you feel, is when you come out and you end things, tower energy. So the tower energy, again, is, excuse me, you, um, you know, the expect the unexpected, that's what happens. So what were you working on? This is a money deck. Let me see what it's called, money coming from. So I guess it's like where the money is coming from. Um, yeah, this energy has been really heavy on me, and I'm, you see, I've pulled these, but I'm still pulling from another card deck to let you know. Um, yeah, but, you know, it's just like you have to understand that sometimes when it comes to you doing everything that you can for a person, place, thing, or a situation, sometimes the only thing you can do is pull your energy back. And that's the scary part about it. For, for, 
precarious. It says there have been a lot of ups and downs with your finances, money coming in fast and going out just as quickly, fast changes regarding money and unexpected turn for finances. So that precarious energy is why the struggle was there is because you were putting the, getting the money in Queen of Pentacles energy, right? Uh, and taking all the risk, King of Pentacles energy, Queen of Pentacles isn't here, but you were giving everything and not taking risks for yourself. And so the designer is here, says you're being called to tune into your individuality and express yourself. So that's the express yourself comes with the Queen of Swords coming out twice. And it's like, come on, you want to challenge me? No, you don't. The Queen of, the Queen of Swords energy says, um, where is it at? When faced with a difficult situation, be impartial, carefully evaluate your options with a rational mind. But the Queen of Pentacles, excuse me, the Queen of Swords energy, um, she is, you know, somebody who is very unbiased, very, uh, very unbiased, you know, very judgmental and sets clear boundaries and is very direct. So this is the person that they're dealing with is somebody that's working on themselves that that they're looking out to, which is you, somebody who is working on themselves and who is not taking shit from anyone. Did I say that right? Let me see the Queen of Swords. What did I say? When faced with no, when faced with a difficult situation, that's the Queen of that's the King of Swords. The Queen of Swords is uh, stand up for yourself, always speak your mind, and don't take shit from anyone. And that's what this energy is. So it's like, come on, I ch you want to challenge me? I'm ready. And this is the energy that you're in. So again, I go with the flow of the universe, knowing that I am protected. So that's where you're learning to trust in yourself. So there it will be an offer coming towards you. But again, the consequences of somebody's action and the, you know, um, the ups and downs that you went through, the struggles and you having to pull your energy back is letting them know. And you also, Queen of Swords, twice, supporter of truth and protection, are going to tell the truth, which is the consequences of your actions. Uh, Again, justice, energy, legal matters, and the memories. You're going to tell why it is that you felt this way and why you couldn't work on yourself and why you felt insecure, which is you understanding that, you know, you had no other choice but to be confident within yourself. So there you have it. Let's go ahead and let this old energy go. And now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.